Today's recipe is this absolutely delicious cinnamon swirl keto bread. It has just over one and a half net carbs a slice, and it's completely gluten-free and sugar-free as well. Here's how to make it. First, we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then, in a large bowl, we're going to add a cup or 150 grams of some confectioner swerve. And if you've seen any of my other keto recipes, then you already know I like to use this stuff because it not only has zero calories, but zero net carbs as well. Anyway, after we've added our sweetener, we're gonna add two and a half cups or 280 grams of some almond flour, but walnut flour, pecan flour, or sunflower seed flour will work great too. So now we're gonna add a half a tablespoon or eight grams of baking powder, a teaspoon or six grams of cinnamon, as well as a pinch of salt, and then we're gonna whiskify all those ingredients together until they combine with one another and look something like this. Then we're gonna set our dry ingredients aside and we're gonna work on our wet ingredients. So in a smaller bowl, we're gonna add four whisked up eggs along with a heaping third of a cup or 90 grams of vanilla unsweetened almond milk, a quarter cup or 56 grams of some melted salted butter, and then lastly, a heaping teaspoon or five grams of vanilla extract. Then we're gonna give those a little whiskey business until they combine, and then we're gonna pour those into our dry ingredients. So now we're gonna use a spatula to give those a nice little mix until a thick batter starts to develop in the bowl, and you should have something going on in there that looks like this at this point. And when you do, you can set that bowl aside and quickly whip up the cinnamon swirl part for this keto bread recipe. So as you're seeing here, to do that, you wanna add around four tablespoons or 40 grams of some granulated swerve to a small bowl, along with about a tablespoon or eight grams of cinnamon. And then you can give those a quick whisker until they combine. Then when you've done that, you wanna coat an eight and a half inch by four and a half inch bread pan with a little water, add some parchment paper to it, do a little arts and crafts and cut off some of that extra paper, coat that paper with baking spray, and add a third of your batter to it. Now, you're gonna top that keto bread batter with around half of that cinnamon swirl mixture, use a spatula to press that into the batter, and use a couple of toothpicks to work the batter and swirl mixture back and forth in the pan. Then, after you've done that, you're gonna add another third of the batter in there, along with the rest of the cinnamon swirl mix, and you're gonna top that with the rest of your batter. And once again, you wanna use some toothpicks to swirl the batter and mix together. And then when you've done that, you can get the bread in the oven for around an hour. But as you're seeing here, you'll wanna tent it with some tin foil around the 45 minute mark. Anyway, once it's done cooking, you'll wanna let it cool down in the pan that you cooked it in. And once it reaches room temp, I like to make a low carb sugar-free glaze for the top of it. So to make the glaze, I'm gonna add around a third of a cup or 56 grams of some confectioner's swerve to a bowl, along with about three quarters of a tablespoon or 10 grams of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Then all you have to do is give this a quick mix until you've got a nice looking glaze like this, and then you can drizzle that all over the top of your cinnamon swirl keto bread. With that said, I like to let the glaze set and harden on top of the bread, and then I like to cut it into 12 thick slices like this. And that, my friends, is how to make some absolutely delicious cinnamon swirl keto bread. It is bound to be a hit with anybody you share it with. Yes, even people who aren't following a low-carb diet like the keto diet. Anyway, as always, check out the video description below for more info on the recipe. And I'll see you in the next one.